I know it feels like a million years ago, but when we had the election, um, the right-wing conspiracies about it were vast. They were very vast. They were expansive. Um, so widespread. They became part of mainstream discourse. They were so widespread. And I remember as I was watching it, I felt insane. Because so many of the claims were just so absurd. And a lot of people were taking them seriously. And, you know, the establishment has been screwing people for so long that when the establishment says something that's actually true, people are like, no, it's not true, because you've been screwing me all along, so why would I believe anything you say? And, you know, one of the the byproducts of that failure is that this total charlatan clown buffoon, Sidney Powell, got a stranglehold on the right and was convincing a lot of people that she knew what she was talking about. Well, now, look at this. Sidney Powell has moved to dismiss Dominion's defamation lawsuit. Dominion is the voting machine company. She argues that when she accused Dominion of being part of an election rigging scheme with ties to Venezuela, quote, no reasonable person would conclude those were truly statements of fact. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So she's using the Tucker Carlson defense. He used a similar defense in court. She's using also the Alex Jones defense. I'm just an entertainer. Me? I'm just an entertainer, bro. You can't take everything I say seriously and literally. That's what she's saying. I want to repeat it. No reasonable person would conclude those were truly statements of fact. Yeah, that's right. No reasonable person would conclude that, which is why it was defamatory when you were saying it. That She literally said that Venezuela and an international communist plot was rigging the election to put Joe Biden in office. As if, number one, that there is an international communist plot, and number two, that they would be supportive of neoliberal corporatist warmonger Joe Biden. That is beyond absurd. It is the most absurd thing I can think of. Joe Biden entered the Senate making compromise deals with segregationists, being a hardcore drug warrior and a tough-on-crime guy, supporting various wars. The idea that the left is like, yes! international plot to try to get Joe Biden in power. Yes! Beyond absurd. But she was saying this stuff, she was convincing the right of this stuff to the point that she was in the White House with the President of the United States in a standoff argument with members of his own staff trying to convince him, sir, you won, sir, you know, we can prove it. Really? And, and it, Trump's staff, to their credit, they were apoplectic. They were like, there's been over 60 freaking lawsuits and you guys have lost every single one of them. We're not winning any of these things. Where's your fucking evidence for any of this stuff? And she would stand her ground. Ultimately, what she was saying was this, though. <laughs> she would stand her ground and she would be dead wrong. And Trump sat there and listened to complete and utter maniacs, Sidney Powell and Michael Flynn and others, Go back and forth with people on his staff who were real lawyers who were like, Sir, they're dead wrong. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. What they're saying is absurd. And, you know, Trump had to sit there and listen to it. And it was 50-50 in his mind. And he had to think about, well, this person is telling me what I want to believe in my fifis. You know, facts over feelings. I don't know about that. I'm feelings over facts guy. I want to believe what Sidney Powell's telling me, but I don't know. These people seem like they're more aggressive and more correct. I read an amazing article about this from, I think it was Jonathan Swan over at Axios, where he broke down this meeting in phenomenal detail. And um, now, look at what happened. So Sidney Powell was embarrassed. None of her claims turned out to be true. Lost everything in court. Total joke. She was just thinking, I'm going to release the Kraken. My ass cheeks are going to release the Kraken. How's that Kraken going? You got Dickie McGee's axe to show for its son. You didn't get anything. And now she's being sued by Dominion. And her argument is, no reasonable person would say I was given facts. Really? At the time, it seemed like you were saying to people, this is a fact and I'm presenting it. Charlatan, fraud, con man. And everybody needs to ask themselves, why is it the case that so many of these people can so easily rise to prominence and power in the Republican Party. How is it that this clear lunatic got into the fucking White House to try to convince the president? It's a hard question, right? It's not. It's actually a really easy question. Because they're willing dupes. They're willing dupes, and they wanted to hold on to hope so hard that they believed an obvious fraudster. Well, now you know. She's been unmasked in court, and... Effectively, she's taking the coward's way out. So if you were a believer in what she was saying, 
You should feel the worst about this. You should be the most angry about this because she played you for a fool and she won't even stand by the shit she was saying. She's taking the coward's way out and it's clear.